with the uh, new Gorilla ATV trailer. Got her hooked up in my tractor here. And we're out here on the bush trail. And over the summer we've got some down trees, so I'm gonna clear this up. And we're gonna fill this uh, Gorilla cart with some wood. First time using it. So here it is. Let's see how she does. So far I'm really impressed. Got all my gear. One thing I thought about adding with this gate is once I open the gate, put some chains so the gate just doesn't drop right to the ground, then I could have my log sticking out more. So I'm probably going to do that. Couldn't find my chain cutter, otherwise I would have already done it. So there's a few trees here that I'm going to take down. First I'm going to clean up the, these trees that are blocking the trail, and then we'll start tearing down some trees and uh, get some wood in this trailer. Just probably get one load today. It's going to start the boiler today, first first start of the season. So we're going to get enough wood to last us over the night. And then each day I'm just going to go out and get a load or two until we build up our uh, wood pile. Because i got to get the wood shed. I'm going to be building a temporary wood shed. If you guys want to stay tuned for that pretty soon here, maybe today even. So let's get going here. I gotta say, it's nice being back in the bush. I've been looking forward to this moment. So let's just get a uh, turn around and then we'll get this trailer loaded. Start cutting down some wood. Well, I think we might. Uh... I think we might just take a load right here. Some nice big logs here. So I kind of want some bigger stuff right now because I got to get the boiler up to temperature. So this stuff hasn't been on the ground. Hopefully it won't be too wet. I guess we'll find out. See, if you had a nice chain, hold the tailgate right here. I'm gonna cut a mat that fits this perfectly. But this one I already had, so it's already cut. My, my right arm, there's a pinched nerve or something, it just hurts to pull this thing.
one log here. How wet she is. She's not too bad. She's a little wet. I'm gonna have to go a bit shorter. That's why I want to hang that tailgate. So I should have brought a strap so I could strap the tailgate up. I knew that was gonna be an issue, but you know what? I can always take the tailgate off. I don't even have to worry about it. That's probably what we'll do. So I won't even think about the tailgate right now. Because if it's in my way, I'll just slide that puppy off. And uh we're good to go. Good thinking. I shouldn't even brought the tailgate. If I would have been thinking, all this wood will be going right in the boiler. I'm never worried about little uh, nubs here and there. I'll just throw this wood over. So we'll take the tailgate off. Let's take it off now, get it out of the way. So you just lift her up, slide her over, and she's out. Well, all that we've cut up, we've almost got loaded. We've only got the front half of the trailer full. That's pretty good. One thing I should have brought with me is some straps in case I wanted to strap this wood down. And I didn't. We're going so slow. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. So now I'm going to back in up, up top here. And uh, we'll take the top of these trees. Just moved over here. Let's see if I can show you guys on the camera. We'll just move in this spot over here. Back right in here and uh, take the tops. And we'll have that trailer full. See, what I want to do here is I think I'm going to start right here too. Is I'm going to clear a trail. Because I'm taking this wood here anyways. So I can get up in there. So you can see there's a lot of downed and dead trees, dead standing in there. 
so that'll be nice to get in there and then also by the water up there there's a nice flat rock right on the edge of the water on this point here so I'd like a trail to get there you know I could go fishing off there or whatever swimming so that is my goal is to get a trail to that point there's a walking trail but it's very it's oh, probably already grown in like it, it was very bad so I can get a nice uh, trail that I can drive there too that'll be nice because I might even move my boat over to this location but anyways let's get to the wood like normally I cut my logs a, a touch longer like based being based off my stove so actually I think I can still cut them as long as I want and just not use the tailgate so that's really good I actually really like this back right up to where I cut load it right in well, let's cut some more then I want to take one skinny standing dead tree to start that fire and it looks like there's one right there Like I always say, the slowest part of getting firewood is hauling what you've cut. And uh, like, so if you buck up all your the firewood on a tree and trekking that all to whatever you're hauling it with, that to me is the slowest part of getting firewood. And well, when you got a trailer like this and you can back right up to it, that just makes that uh, process way easier and faster. See, definitely I want a box in here. As you can see, look at all the dust that got in here. Wood chips. Because that way if I haul my cameras and stuff, I can put it in, in a nice box. So I'll cut this guy down, and then I'll just hopefully be able to drag it. Over there. She's nice and dead, it looks like. didn't work out good I wasn't in a good spot to control the tree okay that'll that'll work Okay, so we'll get this loaded and then we're gonna haul her to the house, start that boiler. For the first time this season, this wood's really nice and dry. One thing about hauling this with the tractor though is uh, that hitch is a little bit high. The trailer nose is a bit up. It's not that level. 
It'd be nicer to get it a little bit more level. Okay, put the chainsaw back. I'm gonna even probably, you know, put that tailgate back on just to show you guys what I mean. You want the wood out of the way of the chainsaw. Mount works good. It just depends how much I can uh, fold it up here. It's not, I can't fold it up enough. But if you see, I was hoping I could fold it up more, and then I could uh, put the cable on here and put this guy right in there and it would hold. But uh, that one log there is stopping it and I'm not gonna fight with it. I could haul the tailgate in the forks. Maybe that's what I'll do. I was just gonna leave it out here, but I'll just haul it in the forks. In the bucket. I didn't wanna scratch it. But it's gonna get marked up. I think that'll be fine. Okay, well, let's haul us home. Wow, is this trailer ever stable? 
That was way better hauling this trailer than that other ATV trailer you guys probably seen on one of my other videos. That thing was so tippy. You got the wood so high and the wheels are so narrow. This thing was a dream. Like going over those big stumps, you couldn't even feel it at all. I, that was way better. I'm gonna try pulling this with the ATV fully loaded because you guys probably want to see that because a lot of you guys have ATVs. Now, there'll be a couple advantages with the ATV because I got the winch on the ATV and the ATV, I can go faster down the trail hauling this, hauling this load. So you could go, if you had a bunch of trips to go, you go there and back way faster. So we'll see how the ATV pulls this. I'm pretty sure it'll be able to do it because that this tractor pulled like nothing. I don't even feel that it's there. But I'll show you guys in another video. We'll do it with the ATV and see how it does. I'm going to get this fire going. Well, guys, we got the fire going. Well, it's just getting up the temperature now. And then we'll have uh, heat in the house from our boiler. Right now we're just burning propane. And we've got an electric baseboard upstairs. So it'll be nice to be back on the wood. Cheaper bills. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to see the ATV pull this, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to do a video with that. And we also got to build a little firewood shed to hold our firewood yet. Got a cool idea for that. It's just going to be a temporary for this winter. Snow's really starting to come down right now. I got a few new attachments for that tractor too I want to show you guys. So you guys are interested in that, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.